Let's see, what is this big head? Activate it. What has happened? Oh, there we go. Takes a bit to kick in. All these gears just for this little elevator. Wild as hell. So fucking wild. Look at this. What a contraption. Right? God, so stupid as well, if you think about it, huh? What the fuck are... What? Why? All, all this effort just for an elevator. Guess what we used to have? Guess what we used to know? Levitation, baby! We used to be able to levitate! <laughs> When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had descended even deeper still into the ancient Dwemer ruins of Alfton, past hordes of enemies, scores of devious traps set by the Dwemer, until at last they reached the remains of the expedition party. As it turns out, to their surprise, the expedition party was still partially alive, still tearing each other's throats out in the very, to the very end, at the very end. And so the Dragonborn sees this opportunity to kill them both instead and <laughs> go down deeper still, descend into an ancient, weird, cryptic area. Yes, an area known only as Blackreach. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Welcome back. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we are, and as you can see, we can move perfectly fine. We have deposited quite a few items into here. Stowed away some heavy shit, right? Hopefully it will be enough, probably not. We've got very little carry space remaining, but perhaps it will be just barely enough to make it through this, right? Good lord. A hand has fallen as well. Tragic. Tragedy has struck. Alright. Let's do a big fucking peekaroo peekaboo around here. Let's see. Does the local map help us at all? Vaguely? No, not really, because it's going to be, as we uncover more of it, it's going to make less and less sense, isn't it? Because the issue is, is that, like, parts of the shroomages and shit are interfering with it. Right? Yeah, so like right here, this is a shroomage, isn't it? And it looks so bizarre on the big map. Good God. What are they doing? <laughs> With the map situation, huh? Jeez and Pete. Alright. Let's see. Over here. But also very much in line, I guess, with our modus operandi with the, uh, the new fancy doodar up at the top, right? Kind of building off the back of the miniature doodar in Oblivion, right? Okay. Let's see, let's head on down here, I suppose. I'm not sure, should we have some sort of rhyme or reason to this fantastic exploration? I don't know. How many of these Nern Roots do we even need, these crimson ones? 30. Good god. Oh, shit! Jeez, I'm ah! This is a fledgling ah! it as well. There we go. Let's get a soul trapped and sucked up. Man, the flying ones are so noisy. They're like 10 decibels louder than the ground-based ones. Jesus, what a whiff. Alright. Jeez, can we even get this dude back? Let's see, what have I got? Unrelenting force. Should be able to like, stun him with that. No, it just whooshed him further ahead. Fuck me, look at it go! It's going so freaking fast! Oh, there we go. Sha! Boom! I don't even know what we chopped there when it was on the ground. Part of the antenna, I think. It's where the brain is kept. Okay. Let's grab the antennae, I guess. It's the most important part. Okay. Was there actually anything good down here before we were so rudely disturbed by a hatching egg? Let's see. Turn this on. Good. Anything? Oh, look. Ooh, it's a big pod. <laughs> Sploosh. Heal on up. Alright. Nothing too terribly interesting, right, Carjo? Just a weird little area. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Look at this weird, bizarre turn in the pipe as well. 
The Dwemer. Idiots. Morons. Imbeciles. Fools. <laughs> Alright. Let's look on around here. Do you think they hollowed out this entire cave? Or was it already hollowed out like this? I think it was already, right? Given the great fungal growth. Right? They just decide... Yeah, what if we just didn't have to build walls and shit anymore? We just lived in caves. Let's just go live underground. They'll save so much time on building walls for our structures. We'll just carve it right out. Don't even need to worry. Let's see, what is this big head? Activate it. What has happened? Oh, there we go. Takes a bit to kick in. All these gears just for this little elevator. Wild as hell. So fucking wild. Look at this. What a contraption. Right? God, so stupid as well, if you think about it, huh? What the fuck are... What? Why? All, all this effort just for an elevator? Guess what we used to have? Guess what we used to know? Levitation, baby! We used to be able to levitate! <laughs> what was the point? <laughs> Why did they have all this? Why? They really did not like magic. They really did not. At all costs. They were... <laughs> They just could not partake in that that devious methodology, that devious mode of transport, levitation. Instead, we must erect an enormous elevator, countless amounts of Dwemer metal gone into it, probably years and years worth of construction, when all they had to do, dig a big hole, levitate through it. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Good lord. What a fucking realization I've had. Jesus. Karjo. I think I might be just smarter than the Dwemer. Guess what, Karjo? Guess who's disappeared, and guess who's here? On Tamriel. The Dwemer have disappeared, and I am here. You know what, Karjo? I think that says something. I think maybe that says something. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? Let's see. Oh, we're up here by the Fun Lake. Okay. Great lift at Alftond. Lovely. And down there? That's the little lake on our map? Oh no, it's the interstitial one. This miniature pond. Okay. Look, there's like a small settlement there that we have not been to, amazingly enough. Wow, yeah, we have not been to that little area. Okay, okay. There's still adventure to be had. There we are. Yo, it would be amazing if one of these lifts... One of these elevators took you to Markarth or something. Easy access for the vendor. Easy vendor access. All right. I don't think any of them quite get that close to Markarth, though. Maybe I'm mistaken. Who can say? Who knows? No one knows. Not me. Let's see. Let's look around here. What do we got? Is that water down there or is that rock? I know there's a big section with a bunch of water. But I don't think this is it. Look, there's some Falmer moving around. Looking like they're up to no good. Have some sort of like weird whooshing effect active. Let's do a whirlwind. Oh shit! Oh gosh, okay, they probably think I'm a... Oh yeah, thank goodness they can't see. Thank goodness they can't see that. They think I'm, I'm just shouting at them, getting ready for combat. This is my combat prep. Of course, didn't try to do anything like that. We don't have to suffer the embarrassment. All right. How the hell do we get up? Oh, God. I can hear the Falmer laughing at me. I can hear him laughing. I can hear him laughing. It's no good. All right. Here we are. Okay. Let's see. You know what? It also just occurred to me. And there's no shame in it, either. Like, certainly I had similar experiences in Morrowind. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure. Um, how many young people played this game back when it came out? And they were, this was like their first big open world RPG or first RPG, first game they ever sunk a hundred hours into or whatever. And they were under the assumption that the Falmer built 
all of this shit. Because you always find the Falmer inside, right? Maybe they just assume that, like, Falmer, you know, it's another just way of saying Dwemer, right? It's, they're just, they became, the Dwemer became the Falmer. I could totally see that, right? A young kid or whatever playing the game, not reading all the lore, because, you know, who has time to read? <laughs> who knows if you want to get invested in the lore of all this? You gotta fucking read homework. I want to, like, smack dudes in the head, fight robots and stuff. Who's got time for that? <laughs> Certainly not me. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. We're going to get fucked up here. Should we down a healing item? I think so. Let's see. Heal. Potion of healing. And let's fortify our health by a bit. Oh, you fuck! Good lord, they are powerful. Alright. Just to be safe, just to get our carry weight down so we can carry more goodies out of here. Look, it's a double-edged sword. Except both sides are kind of good. Right? It's a double-edged... lollipop. Mmm, ah. delicious. There we go. Get you out of there. Oh, shit. Are you gonna take fall damage from- the Oh, god, it's barfing on me. Now they have, like, slow fall active, of course. Sick bastards. Let's see, what's in this? Take their treasures? Mm, is there anything worth taking, though? I mean, this is some wildly valuable stuff, right? This is wildly valuable. But we just don't have the room for it. Such is the difficulty of this... difficulty, right? We just can't haul it off. Fortunately, we are kind of at the point where money is becoming... like, <laughs> the figment of our imagination. It means nothing to us, right? How much money do we even have? We're at like, what? Yeah, 30 grand? And we're only going to keep getting more and more as we... Now that we've unlocked the, like, every vendor can buy my trash. Oh shit. Alright. Battle axe at the ready. Where's this... What's this thing doing? It's just on a loop. There you go. Eat bugs. Okay. Oh, chemical reagents. The real point of value. Just as well, you know, the Dwemer's scrap metal and ore and all of that. Or not ore, but to scrap. Okay. Yo, they are still alive, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. What are you gonna do about that, huh? Skulker. Gotcha. Eat butt. Should I apply poison? Nah. Probably shouldn't even take it, right? Really not worth it. Okay. Let's see. What have we got? Optimus Prime over there charging on the charging station. Okay. Anything over here? Look, there's some ore. Ebony, perhaps? I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's mess up Optimus. Let's go, Optimus. Let's go. Yeah! There you go. Ooh, it's a master! Okay. Okay. Let's head on back here. <laughs> Careful there, Karjo. Careful. Careful. I gave Karjo the targe of bloody bashing or whatever it is. Right? More important that he- that someone carry that rather than the... What do you call it? The glass... Shield that he was using prior. There we are. Good. Okay. Whew. See if they were if they were smart, they would have had the steam vent on their weapons. Superheat their weapons and stuff, right? Cut through people a lot more easily. That said also might, you know, lightsaber effect cauterize the wound on contact. Ooh! Ooh! There it is. Barnacles. Healing potion. River Betty. All good stuff. What have you got? Daedric arrows, jeez. Alright, sapphires and stuff. Those are so low weight. We can take that. Right? We can take that. What does this do? Oh, could we have activated... Could we have activated Optimus Prime in our honor? In our name? I bet we could have. Okay. Let's heal on up. 
Let's see. Is there anything else we can interact with in this little unit, whatever this thing is? It's kind of like sizable, but oh look, oh there's some treasure down here. Okay. A dwarven shield of dwindling shock. Okay. Take all that. Good. Turn this on. But yeah, I wonder if the Falmer Dwemer dilemma, right, that we were, we were thinking of, if, if that is a reality, I think it would be very similar to one of the things that very really, like, totally happens is a lot of people who are unfamiliar with Falmer, or with Falmer, <laughs> with Fallout, with the Fallout lore, uh, believe that the super mutants exist because of radiation, right? That they're purely just spawned into the world be because they're just people who got overly irradiated by the nuclear fallout or whatever, right? But in reality, that's ghouls, huh? The, uh, the super mutants. Only from the FEV, right? There we go. Grab some of that. Good, good, good. Okay. Just corundum, but you know what? Maybe corundum is worth it. Huh? Maybe. Let's turn on the lights here. What have we got? Ooh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Almost touches down there. In Croyabla. Ooh, I can hear its hum. Look, we're getting a little off kilter. Have we fully explored this other building here? Look, this is the trouble with Blackreach, right? You see something off in the... I mean, it's the trouble with Skyrim as a whole, right? <laughs> but uh, especially with Blackreach that makes you get stuck in here forever. Is that, yeah, see? You get distracted by something... Oh, okay, we looked in that one. Fair enough. But you get distracted by something in the distance, you go run over there and you haven't fully explored the thing that you were already at. Right? And then you gotta come on back, run all the way back, look at it, normal. Okay. Have we fully explored this thing? Well, we may have. Oh my god, look! Yo! This is part of a Nord ruin, an ancient Nord ruin, right? Look at this architecture! What? What the fuck? I don't remember that at all being here. Anything to that effect. Yeah, this is Ancient Nord! Right? Or am I tripping balls? Is this not Ancient Nord? Huh. Oh, no. What? Okay, you know what? I think we have fully explored everything here. I think we've done it. Okay. That's not supposed to be like, I don't know, Amulet of Kings or anything, right? Turned on its side? Surely not. It's just there are insignia their crest right. ah! let's see let's top ourselves off and then we'll go over that uh, that direction oh look or calcum here good look I knew I was forgetting something huh what about that very good oh look there's some more grab all that flawless garnet I am willing to drop the corundum right because it's not quite as valuable as, like, raw Dwemer scrap or, or a Calcum. Because you can't make a Corundum arrow. You can't do that. Alright. Let's see. What have we got? Anything else? Just some lovely shrooms. I feel like inhaling all this stuff is probably really bad. It seems extremely not ideal. Like, you should come down here with some sort of rebreather or whatever. All right, we got another root up there. I do sort of like the Crimson Nern root as a form of checklist or whatever for this place, right? Once you have all 30, you've kind of pretty much seen all there is to see, right? Well, except for the big super secret, right? You know what I'm talking about. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh jeez. oh jeez, I could not jump there. Okay, let's try it again. Gotta walk a bit of a finer line. Yeah, look, there is no jumping allowed. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, shit. There it is. Snailed it. Yep, up here. Good. Okay. Let's turn on the lights. Oops, wrong unit. There it is. 
Have I got any ne'er do wells over there? Looks like some sort of big, big stone slab that there could be a Optimus Prime hidden within. If I remember, there's an area that's just really dense in like high quality ore in this place, right? Okay. Going over here. Like, looking at this shit? I hope this is magic, because isn't it like true to real life? Any, speaking of Fallout, any, <laughs> any rocks that glow in real life where magic doesn't exist? Doesn't that mean it's like radioactive? <laughs> <laughs> like, is all this shit radioactive as hell or what? Oh, look. Hey, what's this? Do I get anything from this? No, I do not. It looks like the Aetherium shit does. Oh, look, Geode Vein. Okay. There. I have to mine it from up here? Or maybe I have to manually mine it. There we go. Greater Soldier. Oh, fuck. That's where they come from. Huh. Are... Are all of... Oh, shit, there was a dude in that one. Are all... All of the soul gems do not come from... Dwemer Ruins, right? Huh. Where do they normally come from? Oh my god, it obliterated me. Jeez. Got me in one. What a dude. My god, we're- oh my gosh, we're all the way back here with fucking Optimus. Okay. Let's see. Good lord. There we go. Grab that root. Okay, let's mark you for death there. Good. Wow, we can actually stagger it. Good. Alright. Good enough. I'll take it. Grab all these items. Lovely. None of these shrooms are lootable, sadly enough. Okay. Let's run on back over here. Look, we know where everything's at now, though, so it should be significantly quicker, right? Oh gosh, where's my pick? There we go. <laughs> Got something showing up on the dude down there. Not great. Not great. What is that? Is this thing expended? No, it's not. Okay. I'm just assuming Karjo is going to go up there and, you know, help take care of business. But maybe not? Gosh, they really sound like Zombos or something, huh? Okay. Let's see. For death, and then let's get our. Oh, we can't change shouts while it's cooling down. Okay. There it is. Let's get another soul trap out. Oh shit. Okay. Let's actually heal up real quick. Oh shit! You can path over that. Okay. Go this way. Get him, Karjo. Give him the backstab. Yeah. There we are. Okay. Rip off your ears. Apply the trash poison. Why not? There we are. Good. Okay. And we've got our shit back here. Good. About down here. There was a little treasure chest. Did we already loot this in this reality? We did not. Okay. And there was another little bit of ore. It was just the corundum, though, so... I won't feel too bad if we miss out on it this time. There it is. But, you know, we may get a cool gem. That's all she wrote. about this one? Or is it all connected? Yeah, it's all connected. Okay, good. Look at that. No time at all. Get these... Another root. Yeah, we need to be... Especially when we see any Falmer enemies, we need to be a lot quicker on the uptake of... Oh, shit. Or Charis enemies, even. We need to be a lot quicker on the uptake of quick saving. 
Okay. Jesus. Jesus! There we go. <laughs> Alright. Battle axe at the ready. Come on, Carjo, tank him. Smack him with your shield. Do five points of bleed damage. I guess for Carjo it wouldn't be too bad, right? Because the bleed damage is actually not scaled back. Oh, shit. Shoo! Dope. There we are. Grab some of that. Lovely, lovely. Let's turn this on. You don't think they actually did reuse the, like, Cazador rigging for the Charis Hunters, do you? Speaking of Fallout? I don't know, I wonder. Or maybe it's the other way around, right? It could be also the other way around. Maybe they already were in pre-production for Skyrim Land, because, right? Yeah. New Vegas was made in about the course of... Like, actual production, wasn't it about a little under or over a year because they were on like such a fucking tight schedule they were so rushed so it could be that the Casador rigging actually came from Skyrim which was already in like pre-production or production for a long ass time right maybe that's it I wonder what the lineage is in that. there we go well for all we know they could be completely unique rigging Right? For the models? Who knows? Okay. There we are. It does remind me, though, of the, uh... Um, what were they? The Scallions? No. <laughs> the Scalens? The Scallions? From Shivering Isles compared to the Death Claws of Fallout 3. Right? Definitely using some of the same shit there, right? Oh, gosh. Karju! I can't... I can't make it, Carjo! I can't jump! There we go! Whew. Just had to slam it loudly. That was the only way it was possible. Okay. Over here. Good. Quick save. <laughs> Alright. Up and over. And we did look up there. There was nothing up there, right? Down here, however... Well, I don't think we got down here. Yeah, we died to that Kaz or <laughs> that Charis Hunter, right? Or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe there was another one down here. Karja, you creeped me out a little bit. I thought you were like a fucking specter <laughs> roaming around. Okay. What's this? Where did this thing come from? It just manifested. Grew up out of the ground. Maybe that's the truth of it. They just planted... Seeds that grew into buildings. Damn, the Dwemer really were fucking smart as hell, if that's true. Okay. In here, war quarters. Should we head on up inside of this car show? I think so. Let's do it. See what they got waiting for us. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's turn on the lights just as well. I love the green, eerie glow in the distance up there. Okay. One little candle or two making way too much light <laughs> than it really should. But it looks cool, so it's worth it. Okay. There we are. Who do you think set up these candles, by the way? Because the Falmer wouldn't need them, right? Hmm. Who set up these wax candles? Is there someone going to be... Was it Cinderian? Hmm. Because the expedition gin didn't get down this deep yet. Right? Oh, look. A nice little area where we can snooze if we so desire. Okay. Should we? Should we top off our snooze meter Right? Because we're probably going to very shortly get a tick on it. We may as well, because who knows how long until we find another area that we can snooze at. Probably that should be our our move throughout this entire area, right? 
Whenever we see a bed, we should rest in it, because who knows how long it'll be until we find another one. Okay. Let's see here. Let us chow down on... Worker Loaf. No bad dudes in here. Honestly, makes it even scarier than it really should be, right? Okay. Over here. Got a rock coming through there. It's fine. Big, cool-looking area. Okay. A little treasure. Extreme magic. Oh, God! <laughs> My God! <laughs> That's cursed with the same curse as the Dwemer were given. <laughs> it's still phasing in and out of reality. Man, that glass sword is tempting. But we can't, right? We cannot. We can't take that. Too much. Maybe we'll get another level in here? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Ooh. What have we got? A whole bunch of sweet looking glow shrooms. Oh, I love it. And you know what else? What else is very otherworldly and interesting about Blackreach? Have you noticed it yet? Music. All of the music is ultra, like, ambient, just chiming and stuff. There's no, like, regular, like, da 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 right? None of that. None of that. It's very subtle. Okay, let's do a quick save. Oh, shit. Fuck me, can I just yell at them? Can I yell at them? Creep! It works! It works! Genius. Ultimate maneuver. Yeah. Fuck! Oh, shit! Alright. Let's get a little bit of juice there. There we go. Good. Do I have another tier to that spell that I can cast yet? <laughs> Just a little bit of extra armor while we're, like, running around inefficient. Hang on, Karja. Wait for the kill blow. Wait for the kill blow, Karja. Wait for the kill blow. Wait for the kill blow, Karjo! Okay, kill it! Get it, Karjo, get it! Good lord, they're so fast. Boom! Killed you with the pick. Grab the antenna. Good. Okay. They really get the hell out of town, don't they? Oh, look. There's something, something. Geode vein. Merging with this big glow rock. Okay. Let's do a quick save here. Alright, and then... Battle Axe. Oh, this one's only a fledgling. Should be fine. There we go. Good. Alright. Antenna as well. Still good. Alright. Anything else? Yeah, we can go up top of this. Ooh, 74 resto. We're getting up there. At 75, we should really... I mean, just after this whole thing, we should probably head on back to what's its spot. Okay. Just a big old gas light, huh? I love the sound of it. They probably put a mic right next to a gas stove or something. <laughs> or a blowtorch. Something like that. Always seeing the, like, behind the scenes of the people who do SFX for games especially, but movies and, and stuff too, animated movies, shit like that. It's so cool, right? Seeing like where all the sound effects have, have come from. Honestly, I love it. I would love stuff like that along, like, fucking A, love art books, right? Never owned one, but the concept of an art book for a game that you love, that you really like, great, right? People fucking eat that shit up, put it on a coffee table, hell yeah. But also... I want some stuff, some behind the scenes of, like, the sound design team, right? I want to see them, like, crushing up watermelons or whatever to get noises, right? Oh shit, we went in here. Okay. <laughs> Unless this one looks exactly the same, but I don't think that's the case. This is the war room or whatever, right? War quarters. Okay. There we are. Okay, got a lever here. Ooh, okay, this is like a big 
Slice and dice, I think. Turn this on. 2920 Midyear, Volume 6. I'm assuming this is Cinderian's doing. I don't know. Okay. Alright, and then... Yeah. What is this? What's the purpose of this? Oh, this is their entertainment, right? Because the Dwemer, completely fucked up, right? They're totally fucked up assholes. Yeah, they would just sit there and watch people get fucking chopped up like complete dickheads. Disgusting. Fucked up. Alright. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Inverted stalks. Oh, that's so cool. I don't remember that. At all. I only remember them coming down. Gosh, Black Reach is so cool. Especially having not remembered much of it. Okay. I guess, you know what? If you didn't like the Dwemer ruins and stuff, if you <laughs> if you were not like me and throughout the whole game you're like, oh fuck, another quest in a Dwemer ruin? Oh, I hate these. Then you're like, no, it's gigantic. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> I fucking hate the Dwemer even more than on a lore level. <laughs> fuck. Oh shit. It's going down here. Good. And let's get our pick back at the ready, because we're definitely going to have to do some more picking around. Good. Ah, there it is. It's a great... The Orb. Let's see. I don't know if I remember exactly what, what you do there, but I have a rough idea. Okay. Anything else around here? Oh, look. There's like a little pier. Huh. With some shroomages? Oh, look. Uh, Optimus Prime over there, charging up. Okay. Just a little basket here, I guess, to poop in? I don't know. Look at that. Pretty scenic. It's gotta be said. Alright. So there's a lever right next to Optimus. If we crank the lever, does Optimus, like, become aligned with us? Optimus Prime, I choose you! Know your pissed as shit. Okay. That's fine. There we go. Actually, let's get a little bit of armor just in case. I'm a little afraid of Optimus, it's gotta be said. Not sure if I can take a hit. Look at Karjo trash talking the robot. He doesn't even really know if the robot can he hear him. Because the taunts, they're not for the enemy. They're for Karja. How touching. Alright. He needs the confidence boost. There we go. Get some of that. Oh, shit, you dick. Mm. Get out of here. Down here. Oh, God, they're so fast. God, they freak me the fuck out. These ones in particular. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. Launch a little something something at your booty butt. Good. And let's get that. There's something else over on the horizon coming in. Oh, my God. It's another one. It's another one. Okay. We got any other bogeys? I don't think so. Let's grab that. And... There we go. We didn't get Karjo. No, we're good. Oh, God. Is it flipping around for me? Look at its, like, pincer butt. Thank goodness it can't, like, smack us with that. Okay. Nothing much there. Like some kind of fucking monster out of Monster Hunter. Whew. Jeez. Okay. Let's turn this on. Oh, look. Some more sweet woot loot, baby. Do these respawn down here? I don't know. Okay. Anything else? Wow, we got a black soul gem from that. What? So you can mine up black soul gems in the world? They exist naturally? Because lest we forget, in Oblivion, we went through the entire process of creating some. You found out how they were created. 
but apparently you can just find them naturally. They're also a natural occurrence in the world. Is that canon? Is this canon what's going on here? That said, are these geode veins naturally occurring? Hmm. Or is this like the product of Dwemer experimentation or something, huh? I don't know. Are the Dwemer here because they saw these resources and decided to like dig them up or whatever? Or are these here because the Dwemer were digging around and like Dwemer waste byproducts or whatever from their work created this? No, it must be naturally occurring because there's no other Dwemer ruins that have this stuff, right? Okay. Good. Oh shit. Gordon, gosh, you're like pushing me all over the dang place, huh? Take it easy, pal. Let's see. Cool sewer level over yonder. God, I fucking love sewer levels. They are just my favorite. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> there we go. Head over here. What if, oh gosh, we are just getting so many like amazing gems. Jeez. All soul gems too, right? There's never any actual like normal precious stones. That must be weird. So if you, if you casted like soul trap and someone died next to like raw soul gems in the ground would they get sucked into it or whatever how's that work huh well no they wouldn't right because you have to be holding it weird is who the fuck invented soul trap magic by the way how fucking like creepy is that shit was it the dwemer did the dwemer invent it and it just got passed down for like era and generations to come and people just kind of came to forget or whatever? I don't know. Oh shit, look at this. We're encumbered now. Oh god. This is it. We gotta get rid of the corundum. Sorry. Okay. Hoo hoo hoo. How about over here? Look, there's another Optimus Prime, I think. Or that one might be empty. Let's see. Over here. Here's some cool cogs, charging, whirring. Okay, over here. Anything good? Nah, not in particular. All right, down we go. Look at that little makeshift area. Oh, look! There's some little, like, creatures over there. I don't remember those at all. They're like Will-o'-the-Wisps or something. Okay. It's like Ori in the Blind Forest over there. All right. Grab that. 10 out of 30. We're getting there. It's going to really suck when we got just one more left and we can't find it. That's going to really suck. <laughs> okay. What have we got here? Just some more of that. Good lord, we are completely getting like thrown all around the dungeon. It's got to be said. I have no concept of what direction I'm heading now. Here's the, like, big mega shroom. The ultra-huge glow shroom. Oh, look. Did we do this? Oh, yeah, we did. This is where we jumped. Can you not get up to that big, cool shroom? Surely you can. Surely you can. Why would you not be able to? What kind of a sick, twisted... area would this be if you could not? Yeah, you must... Oh, okay, there it, there it is. All right, great. Now look. Oh, we already dug that up. <laughs> well, what can you do? Now oh, this is where we saw the, the sewer area. There we go. I don't think there's anything unique under it, right? But it's kind of fun to just kind of chill by it, right? Look at that. It's so glowy. Okay, good. Let's see. Over and around. I think maybe the real question is as well. You know, given the true nature of shroomages, of mushrooms, how far do you think these things extend? Are they only subterranean? It seems that way, right? But are there other underground pockets of them, like, growing around? <laughs> is, this, is this like a Terraria situation or something? <laughs> 
Gotta mix it with water, give a medium health potion or something, right? Shit. Okay, over here, what have we got? More corundum. We better... No, oh, we need to dig it, don't we? Because what if we did a gemstone? Right. Is it, this empty now? There we go. Emptied out. No gems, I don't think. Okay. Flunk them. There we go. Blister wart. Okay. Gosh, this shit is so cool, right? It's so, like, ultra high fantasy, huh? It's like torn from the pages of a JRPG or something. Okay. Over here. Good. Oh, look at this. The stuff we do like. <laughs> Sounds like the sweet spot. Soul gems. Do we always get a black soul gem or grand one at the end? It seems that way, doesn't it? Okay. Let's see. Oh, jeez. We are just carrying way too much now again. Ooh, what should we get rid of, though? We are quite hard-pressed for space. Oh, the glass shield. There we go. Thank goodness. Forgot to drop it. Okay. There we are. More shrooms. Namira's rot. Okay. And then is this looping around or what? Is this the little area we were at before? Is that why there's no Optimus Prime inside of that? Let's see. It's hard to say. Yeah, okay. We've looped around. Good. Okay, so let's head back this direction then. And we'll look over there, right? Okay. See, if only we had the ability to drop eggs that didn't roll around. Nah! We could use our marking system. Let's do a quick save here. It's a little dangerous. Anything? Nope, nothing. You know what we should also be doing? Flicking a few of these. Get some muffle. Alright. Ooh. Very bright. Alright, and this is Sendarian's... Yeah, lab. Okay. Good. And that's where we came from, up here. Yeah. So then let's travel this direction. Which we did not go the first time, right? Trying our best to be thorough. Don't know how well I'm doing, but we'll see. <laughs> we will see. There we go. Another red woot root. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Almost ten year old game. That's terrifying, huh? That Skyrim is a ten year old game? A decade old almost? How fucked up is that? That's horrific. <laughs> that is just terrifying to think about. Let's see over here. Turn this on. Go through here. Through this stuff. Is this water making me like freeze? I don't think it's perfect temperature. Yeah. Probably filled with like weird fungal spores and stuff. Can't be good. Alright, anything else? Another root. Love it. Oh shit, a sick bastard. Okay. Three. There we are. Let's get this ready. Oh shit, missed him. Carjo is gone. That's not great. There you are, Carjo. Shit, did I even hit it? Okay, I think I hit it that time. Ooh. Good. And then let's get this one. I think I got it. There we go. Gosh, they are just loud as hell, aren't they? Grab that. And your antenna. Oh, you got some gold on you as well. Okay. Let's see, what have we got? Just a whole bunch of water, like, squirting out of there? 
Ugh, look at that. That's nasty looking. It's like someone trying to hold their butt cheeks together when they're about to have, like, a big, major diarrhea eruption. And they just can't squeeze them together anymore. The pressure of the poo is just too much. And it's popping out like a little... Well, it would have been like a fun little Play-Doh playset, but it's just too runny. It's spraying out like a fire hydrant. <laughs> Sorry, Carjo. I, I know you didn't come along to, to hear about that, but... Well... That's just how it is sometimes. When you've got a non-furred butt, I guess. I don't know. Can Carjo experience such joys as well? As a butt that's like squirting poo everywhere? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the fur complicates it, right? There we go. That's what we wanted. The diamond. Good. Alright. Let's see. Over here. Oh, look. Spiderland. Okay. Let's see, let's get a little bit of this action. A little bit of muffle, why not? If anything though, Spiderland. Not that scary, right? Spiders, who cares? They're not tough at all. Let's see. Man, there are a bunch of geodes. Look. There's a man running around. Oh shit, we've aggroed him. Jesus, Gordon, you scared me with your clickety-clacks. Got some more good stuff. Was that an Optimus Prime reawakening? Is that what that noise was? Jesus. Got this. Reeking tower. Should we go into this real quick? Fuck it, let's do it. Let's go inside. See what we got. Alright. Let's do a quick save. Looks fine. Got some more spider stuff. Spider eggs, egg sacks. Gosh, we really should not be taking these. Our carry weight is not looking good. Ooh, there you are. Gotcha. And then... Get that. Get this. There we go. See you do the flips. Good. Easy does it. Remember when they were the worst of our worries? The Spidered Lords? There we are. Any others around here? I think- can there be anything else good inside of the egg sacks? I don't know. I truly do not know. Oh, hey, Carjo! <laughs> How'd you get back there? Okay. Oh, look. A whole bunch of dead ones. Do you think the spiders get along with the Charis? I don't think so, right? They probably hate the shit out of each other, huh? I'd assume. Look at that. Firing away, double blasts, missing. All of them. There we go. The big ones, they do a decent amount of damage still. Well, it's gotta be said. All right, here we are. Good. Another shortcut up. Or no, that goes to Blackreach, you see? Huh. Okay. Let us get into this. What have we got here? Can I even get in this? Can I yell it down? Huh. Weird. My yells are not working. Okay. How about... Uh, you need fire, don't you? Yeah. Let's see. Fire, flame. Oops. There we go. Eh, nothing. Okay. It's impenetrable. I can still search the chest here, though. An ebony dagger. Some gold. Alright. And, yep, that goes to black reach, weirdly enough. Okay, turn this on. Anything else around here? No, that seems like it's the end for this little tower. Okay. There's nothing in this pile of spiders, right? I don't think so. No. Okay. Cool. Let's head on up. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, we're heading down. Okay. Oh, I see. This takes us down to the lower area. Maybe. Shit. Maybe? 
Oh, God, look at that freak up there. Okay, can I shoot that thing? I'm going to shoot it. Fell. <laughs> Was not a fan of that. Okay. Good. Getcha. Are there any others up there? Look, there's a big spider hole. Could be. Might come charging down after us. Yeah. There we go. I don't know. Let's grab this root. Part of me was wondering if grabbing the root would have triggered some sort of little scripted event. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Okay. Or maybe it would have with that spider there if you ha if I hadn't seen it. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Let's see. Over on this side? Is there anything good over here? Oh, there might be. Let's see. Let us eat the other horker loaf because that thing is heavy as hell. Heal that up. Jump up. Oh, gosh. Oh, look. The secret spider lair. Look at that. Oh, we're inside of its spider lair. Ooh. Look. There's an enemy showing up on the dude dar. Okay. Let's see. Turn this on. Is there actually going to be a weird secret thing here? Is this a secret area or am I like bugging through the world right now. I might be I might be bugging through the world. Oh god. Ooh. Cobwebs blinding. Yeah, okay. I don't think anyone was meant to be over here. Fair enough. Well, you know what? Hey, it's a it's a fun little bonus secret all to our own. Cool. All right. Let's see. Let's activate become ethereal and just lunge down there right why not hmm or should we that could be potentially pretty dangerous let's lunge from over here closer to the main spider zone okay yeah over here looks good Fight! yep ah any big spiders crawling out coming after us now no maybe we took care of them all Okay, maybe that was it. Sure. Okay, let us dig this junk up too. Cool. There we are. Greater soul gem. Love it. Common one as well. Still got plenty of room, hopefully. Fingers crossed. We do have some corundum we can drop as well. If we need to. And we probably will. Okay. Good. Let's see. Let's go over here to this little hut. There's at least one Falmer, dude. Oh, there's a few. Okay. Or at least, yeah, one Falmer and maybe a Bug Lord. Let's mark them for death. Yep, there they are. Good. And let's use some of this. Cool. Let's go. It's a quick save, I guess. Oh shit, I'm coming from out of the rock. Jeez. Oh fuck. Oh, it sucks, it sucks. Okay. Let's try and get a soul trap on the Falmer. There you go, good. Okay, you know what? Hey, let's try this as well. Let's see. Yeah, Animal Allegiance. Does that work on Charis? Surely it does. Run! There we go, yeah. Yeah, it does. Great. Okay. Lovely. Now you work for me. Take care of you. Ooh, gotcha. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. You were just a little baby. Okay. And then we'll steal your soul. I think I got you. Good. Chopping. Yeah. Should be three hits until they change their mind. Yep. Only do the power attacks there, right? Maximize the damage from the three hits. Alright. 
Cool. Oh, look. Oh, some salmon. Cool. I wonder if we'll find a cooking area down here. Probably not. I think the only one is in what's his butts area, right? Cinderians. Let's see. Let's turn this on. Anything good in these little yurts? I don't think so. All right. That's fair enough, though. Spider Lord up here. Oops, I took that rather than applying it. Good God. Let's see. Oh, it's already poisoned. Okay. Let's drop those. We don't need them. They're just encumbering us. Okay. Soul gems. All this good stuff. Jeez. So many riches down here. Okay. Good. Well, holy shit, we've gone on for quite a while. I think we've gotten to maybe... A third? Half? Maybe? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning toward just we've cleared a third of Blackreach, right? I want to say that's it. I want to say we're at the one-third point. Oh, look at that. Another one of these here. A good sign that we still need to look around this area, right? Okay. Sure. Well, when next we come back, we will continue looking around for these red... <laughs> Root Roots, all that good stuff. Continue doing battle with the Falmer, the occasional Optimus Prime. Probably no more spiders, right? I think we dealt with them all. And digging up all this shit. Look at this. There's so much right here. Is this the densest collection of them all? Right by the spiders? I don't know. Shit, it, it really feels that way. Look at this. We got like three just right here. Three veins. Incredible. All right. Man, yeah, do these respawn? Is this, like, a great place if you're not on, like, weird survival mode or whatever? You come back here and dig through a bunch of junk? Probably. Okay, let's heal on up. Shit, we'll have to do a little bit of inventory management as well in between videos, won't we? Just too much good stuff down here that we're hauling around. Oh, look, we're drained. Oh, of course. See, it's a good thing that we slept at that bed. We were probably right on the cusp of becoming tired. All right, when next we come back... We'll continue poking around through Blackreach. We're maybe 33% complete? I don't know. Maybe? Shit, maybe we're further than that. Maybe we're half. Shit, maybe we're we're even further than that. Who can say? I don't I don't think so. I think it'd be a stretch to say we're further than halfway done. Place is big as shit. Alright, until next time, please take care of each other.